Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my bookshelf tour of 2019. So I have three bookshelves. I have a small one right here and two big ones behind me. And basically this is the little reading corner I have in my bedroom at home. And then I have a big love sack type bean bag right here. I have a whole video on me like building my reading nook if you guys want to check it out. But this is just me going in depth of every single book that is on my bookshelf. So I'm not exactly sure how many books I have. I don't have as much as many many book youtubers have on YouTube. So this video is just going to be me showing you the books and saying the authors. I'm not going to really talk about any of the books at all just because I feel like this video would be way too long to do that. And then I have a lot of video game stuff as well which I'll briefly show you guys because that's all my bookshelves but this is mainly just books and video games in my little reading corner right here. Let's just go ahead and get started. So this is my bean bag. It's a five foot bean bag so I'll I'll put the link for it down below. I'll leave the link for it down below if you guys are interested in it. I sit on this pretty much every single day and do schoolwork, read. I have a pillowcase on a pillow that says as long as there's life there's hope from Ember and the Stars by Sabah Tahir. Um, I've never actually read the book but this pillowcase came in a Owl Crate subscription box and I thought it was pretty. But I'm going to move my beanbag out of the way so you guys can see the bookshelves. So here they are. I have these two bookshelves right here and then I have this smaller one right here. I will link all of these down below. These two are the Billy bookcases from Ikea. Super cheap. They're like $60. They're so amazing. So sturdy. I totally recommend getting them. And I got this one from Amazon a couple years ago, so I might not be able to find the link for that one. This one just has little cubicles in them. So this is just a realistic bookshelf tour because, you know, the bottom ones are literally just storage. So I'm just going to go ahead and just get straight into each book. I guess I'll start with what is on the wall above my smaller bookcase. I have a picture from Books A Million and it says books hold all the magic and it's just the scene from Beauty and the Beast where Belle is being shown the library that the Beast has for the first time so it's really pretty. Then I have my YouTube play button and the letter that they send as well. I don't know why I hung up the letter, I just thought it was kind of cool. And then I have a little quote board which says words have the power to change us by Cassandra Clare. That is one of my favorite quotes from the Infernal Devices, so I'm gonna change this quote sooner or later, but I've just had that up there. Next is one of my favorite things in my room and that is my Harry Potter lamp. It says Lumos on it, which most of you guys might not know. I have a crested gecko and his name is Lumos, so I thought that was really cool. Basically the lamp is a magic wand. As you guys can see, here's the bottom of the wand and the very tip of it has the light on it. So when you turn it on, the top of the wand lights up. And I got this for $50 at Think Geek, which is a store in the mall near me. It was originally $100 and I got it for $50 and I think it's a nice touch to the corner and I really love it. Then I have my Victrola record player. Starting from the shelf on the top left, I have my Nintendo Switch games. Then I have a little vinyl figure that I got from a subscription box for The Legend of Zelda. I have this Legend of Zelda chest right here which I keep some crystals and some old Nintendo DS games and a little Yoshi amiibo. Then on this shelf, I have my Nintendo 3DS and DS games. I have a whole video showing my collection on my gaming channel, so I put that down below if you guys want every individual game. I have a Triforce plushie, a Link amiibo, and then this little container to hold my games. Then in this corner, which is kind of hidden by the other bookshelf, I have my PS Vita and my PSP games. Starting on the next row I have my question coin block and it lights up if you press it and I really love it I think it's so cute and then I have the Super Mario Bros 30th anniversary amiibo right there I have the Stardew Valley guidebook the Pokemon Sun and Moon guidebook and the Pokemon Sun and Moon Pokedex and then I also have a little Legend of Zelda journal and then I also have my ukulele right here. Now to start with the books, of course I'm going to start with one of my favorite book series of all time, which is becoming a movie in April, is the After Series by Anna Todd. So this is my Anna Todd shelf. I have The Brightest Stars by Anna Todd, which also came with a signed book plate before by Anna Todd. Two versions of After by Anna Todd. One version is signed by the author and the cast of the upcoming movie, After We Collided by Anna Todd, After We Fell by Anna Todd, and After Ever Happy by Anna Todd. 
So my next shelf right here is also kind of hidden a little bit by the other bookshelf, so I apologize for that. But this is kind of my little contemporary section of my book corner. I don't read too much contemporary, even though I've really been getting into it lately. I have Chasing Red by Isabel Ronan, Always Red by Isabel Ronan, The Kissing Booth by Beth Riekels, A Sucky Love Story by Brittany Louise Taylor, Adultolescence by Gabby Hanna, Fangirl, Cool. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell and Perfect Chemistry by Simon Eccles. My next section is kind of like the dystopian, utopian, end of the world type books, which is not very many of them. And then I also have my tarot cards right here, which are absolutely beautiful. And I put them right here because this story, because this book series has to do with tarot cards and stuff, so I just thought it was kind of cool. So I have Poison Princess by Cressley Cole, Endless Night by Cressley Cole, Dead of Winter by Cressley Cole, Anarchy by Megan DeVos, which was actually a Wattpad story that was turned into a published book and it's absolutely amazing. And Loyalty by Megan Davos. Divergent by Veronica Raw, which I actually hate. I don't even know why I have it. And Insurgent by Veronica Raw. The next section I have a couple of cute little Funko Pops and stuff that I always like to fall. Here's the little no face guy from Spirited Away. I have Kirito from Sword Art Online and Sebastian from Black Butler. I have The Selection by Kira Cast, The Elite by Kira Cast, The One by Kira Cast, and The the Air by Kira Cast. And then I have versions 1, 2, and 3 of the Your Name manga. And then in this corner I have my Sailor Moon Funko Pop, a little sloth that I got from a arcade. And then I have my monthly reading planner which I got from an Owl Crate subscription box. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do a video on it, which I totally will if you guys want me to. And basically I just do reviews and I fill out the books I'm reading in here. Then I have my life planner, which is literally like so filled with everything. And then my school book. Now to start with this bookshelf, at the very top I have some Funko Pop boxes. And then we're gonna start right here. I actually have to hold the camera because my tripod does not reach as tall as the bookshelf is. First I have Switch by Amanda Hawking, Torn by Amanda Hawking, Ascend by Amanda Hawking, Iron Daughter by Julie Kagawa, Iron Queen by Julie Kagawa, and The Iron King by Julie Kagawa, Wicked Kiss by Michelle Rowan, and Dark Kiss by Michelle Rowan. Then I have a boxed set of Red Queen and Glass Sword, and these are both by Victoria Aveyard. I have my Ariel as a Human Funko Pop and Ariel as a mermaid Funko Pop, and that is on top of my mermaid books. I have The Siren by Kira Cass, Wake by Amanda Hawking, Lullaby by Amanda Hawking, Title by Amanda Hawking, and Deep Blue by Jennifer Donnelly. Next, I have The Ghost and the Goth by Stacey Cade, Body and Soul by Stacey Cade, and Queen of the Dead by Stacey Cade. Next, I have My Soul to Take by Rachel Vincent, My Soul to Save by Rachel Vincent, My Soul to Keep by Rachel Vincent, My Soul to Steal by Rachel Vincent, If I Die by Rachel Vincent, Before I Wake by Rachel Vincent, and With All My Soul by Rachel Benson. Next, I have my Shadow Hunter shelf, which is my favorite shelf out of all of my bookshelves. I have the Infernal Devices Clockwork Angel graphic novel, the Infernal Devices Clockwork Prince graphic novel, and the Infernal Devices Clockwork Princess graphic novel. Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare, Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare, Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare, Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare, and I also have a replica of the Clockwork Angel, which is on the necklace that Tessa Gray wears from the Infernal Devices. Devices. Next I have the Mortal Instruments series. I have the Mortal Instruments City of Bones little movie kit from Amazon. It has some tattoos, a necklace, and a couple magnets in there. I have a small replica of the Mortal Cup, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare, City of Glass by Cassandra Clare, City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare, City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare, which I am currently reading right now, and City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, the Shadow Hunters Codex by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis. And I also have the City of Bones 10th Anniversary Edition, which has the gold pages on the side and the absolute beautiful artwork on it. Then right here I just have a gold candle, my One Direction Between Us perfume, and a wax seal kit from Owl Crate. And then hanging right here I have the Angelic Rune necklace which I wear all the time just hanging from my lights. My next shelf is my favorite books of all time shelf. So starting from the left I have this 15 minute hourglass timer that I got for Christmas from my grandmother. A hush hush replica book that I made back in middle school. It is made out of felt. It's made out of felt. It's very bad, but I 
made it and the last page says hush angel i have a cool tattoo holder that holds a couple tattoo things that i was sent from luberderm sweet evil by wendy higgins sweet peril by wendy higgins sweet reckoning by wendy higgins and sweet temptation by wendy higgins next i have the hush hush series which is my all-time favorite book series it's always been my favorite book series ever since i read it for the first time back in the beginning of middle school so first i have the hush hush graphic novel which i've heard is really awful and it's actually nothing like the book, but I haven't gotten the chance to read it yet. But I just bought it to add to my collection. Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick. Silence by Becca Fitzpatrick. And Finale by Becca Fitzpatrick. And I also have the red version. Then I have Black Ice by Becca Fitzpatrick, which was actually just a standalone book, but I just put it with my other Becca Fitzpatrick books. It wasn't the best book in the world, but it was pretty good. Then I have the Fallen series by Lauren Kate at the beginning. First, I have the Fallen movie, which is absolutely awful, but I wanted to put it with my books. Fallen by Lauren Kate, Torment by Lauren Kate, Passion by Lauren Kate, Rapture by Lauren Kate, and Unforgiven by Lauren Kate. Here is my next shelf. I have a rose gold candle right here. I have Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Beautiful Darkness by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Beautiful Chaos by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. And Beautiful Redemption by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Next, I have Nevermore by Kelly Craig which is also one of my favorite book series, and Shadowed by Kelly Craig, and Oblivion by Kelly Craig. I have Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendar Blake, and Girl of Nightmares by Kendar Blake. Evermore by Alison Noel, Blue Moon by Alison Noel, Everlasting by Alison Noel, and Night Star by Alison Noel. Paranormalcy by Kirsten White, Supernaturally by Kirsten White, and Endlessly by Kirsten White. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, The Evolution of Mara Dyer, and The Retribution of Mara Dyer. Then I have the box set of the Lunar Chronicles, and in the front of it I have a Lunar Queen candle, and it's from Flick the Wick. Then we have Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, Winter, Stars Above, and Fairest, all by Marissa Meyer. Here is my next shelf. Starting over here, I have a little hard felt plushie that I made back in middle school. I have Shadow Falls The Beginning, which is Born at Midnight and Awake at Dawn, and Shadow Falls The Next Chapter, which is Taken at Dusk and Whispers at Moonrise, both by C.C. Hunter. Marked by P.C. Cast and Kirsten Cast. Betrayed by P.C. Cast and Kristen Cast. Chosen by P.C. Cast and Kristen Cast. Untamed by P.C. Cast and Kristen Cast. And Hunted by P.C. Cast and Kristen Cass. Miss Peregrine's Home of Peculiar Children, and this is the movie version. Hollow City by Ransom Riggs, and Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs. The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan, The Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan, and The Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan. The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan. The Goddess Test by Amy Carter, Goddess Interrupted by Amy Carter, and The Goddess Inheritance by Amy Carter. Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo, The Awakening by Kelly Armstrong, The Summoning by Kelly Armstrong, and The Reckoning by Kelly Armstrong. Then chilling over here, I have I have my I have a little horse Funko Pop. I have a rainy day fund which is full of money and then a little thing to hold my rings and stuff and another candle back there. This very bottom section of my shelf is literally just junk so I'm not even going to go through all that. Starting with the next shelf at the very top I have some Nintendo Switch and Nintendo PS Vita boxes up there. Then on the next shelf I just have all of my video game and Disney plushies. I have all of my Disney Tsum Tsums, my Build-A-Bears, my Pikachu, Charmander, and Yoshi and then I have just some video game plushies. Next section, I have some Amiibo, my PSP, PS Vita, new Nintendo 2DS XL, Nintendo 3DS XL, some Game Boy games, my friends. I have the Pokemon X and Y 3DS XL. That's actually my friends that he gave to me to try to fix and I ruined it even more, so that's cool. My Game Boy SP, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and then some Nintendo figures. Next, we have my Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts shelf. I don't have all the Harry Potter books yet, but I'm working on it. I have the Marauder's Map in the background right here. I have Ron, Hermione, and Harry with their wands. Funko Pops right here. A Dumbledore and Hermione Funko keychain and another Harry Potter Funko Pop. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix by J.K. Rowling. And Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince by J.K. Rowling. So over here I have a little Funko Pop scene and this is from the Crimes of Grindelwald and all of these are the Crimes of Grindelwald Funko Pops. So we have Young Albus Dumbledore, Grindelwald, and Thestral and this was like a Funko Pop scene that stays on this little like stone thing. So I just decided to like put them together right here in the corner. I have Newt Scamander's little chest. And then this right here isn't 
Harry Potter related, but this is a Lord of the Rings sword. The Sting Sword. It came in my Owl Crate subscription box and it's a letter opener. And next we have my last shelf that have books on it. So starting from this side, I have my Gudetama Funko Pop. The Fallen by Thomas E. Stagoski. Can't say the last name very well. The Fallen number two by Thomas E. Stagoski. And The Fallen number three by Thomas E. Stagoski. Ashes on the Waves by Mary Lindsay. Starcross by Josephine Andolini. Spirit Walk, Walk of the Spirits, and Shadow Mirror by Richie Tankersley Cusick. Shiver by Maggie Stefader. And what I'm currently reading, The Vampire Diaries, The Awakening, and The Struggle by L.J. Smith. Then right here I have my Tamagotchi collection, which I have very much downgraded. I had about 20 Tamagotchi and I realized that I had a problem and I sold most of them, but I kept the ones that I liked the most. So I have my 1997 Hong Kong Collector's Edition, my Tamagotchi and Friends, my Tamagotchi Sanrio Mix, my Tamagotchi 20th Anniversary Mix, and my green Tamagotchi for you. Then I have a cute bracelet from Owl Crate. It's just like a bunch of tree stems. And then this right here is all the books that I've gotten from my Owl Crate subscription boxes, so I just decided to put them all together. So first down here, I have a little enamel pin, a magnet, and another little pin. I have Amber and Dusk by Lyra Celine, Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nagan, and The Gilded Wolves by Roshana Chosky. And my my last shelf is just my perfumes and lotions and my Polaroid camera and then I also have a book that one of my subscribers wrote herself which I am currently reading so I just have that right there. And then at the very bottom I have all my vinyl records which I actually had laying down right here and a lot of you guys told me that you're not supposed to have vinyl that way because they will warp. So now I just have them kind of covering up this mess of what this section of the bookshelf is and just keeping them upright like I'm supposed to. So yeah, that was my bookshelf tour of 2019. I'm actually really tired and I feel really winded from recording this video. I'm not sure why. It took me like an hour and a half to record this whole thing though, so I'm like super tired. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or you need links to any of these books, then just comment down below and I'll try to find them for you. But I wanted to go Go ahead and film this video even though I kept procrastinating because there's so many books that I'm waiting to come in the mail and if I keep telling myself to wait because I'm ordering no more books then I'm never going to make the video because I'm always buying new books. I just wanted to say before I ended the video that I did get a P.O. box so if you guys would like to send me letters, fan mail, drawings, packages, anything that you'd like to send you can send me and if I get enough items I will be doing a P.O. box opening video. Also follow me on my social medias especially my Goodreads if you guys like to keep up with what I'm reading and if you're watching this video you probably like books so if you guys would check out my Etsy shop which I have down below in the description box I make homemade bookmarks and I've sold about 30 of them because of you guys and I'm super happy with how my little shop has been going so if you guys would like to buy a handmade bookmark by me then just click the link down below but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time bye